Good morning. Ah, just lit the smudge stick. So if you want to join me, I'm creating a healing space. I'll talk more about it in just a minute. So take a nice deep breath. And imagine this sacred smoke washing over your body and carrying away with it all negative, unwanted energies, entities, cords, hooks and attacks. Take some really deep, big breaths. And as you breathe out, let go. Let go of everything that's holding you back. Hello. If you can't join me now live, if you're in the middle of something, um, you may want to come back and connect with the replay if you want to. So how are you? Good morning. My name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm very much inspired to be here in this moment. <coughs> Bit smoky though. Um, I'm inspired to use the drum that I painted yesterday, the turtle. So I'll talk more about that very soon. Um, and basically just to create this space of healing. I don't know that you can see all the smoke, but it's like cloud, you know, parting the fog sort of thing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> um, what do I need to say? Just take some deep breaths. I just really feel inspired to create this space and let it be uh, what's needed in these moments. So just take a moment to catch your breath. Um, if you have a little bit of time now, maybe um, get yourself relaxed. Let other people you know uh, that you don't want to be disturbed, if that's going to help. <laughs> Sometimes it's counterproductive when we're talking about children and probably some partners. Um, but um, if it will help to just shut yourself away and um, really bring yourself fully into this moment and, and this experience and please do what you need to do. Um, and like I say, if you're in the middle of something, just come back and connect later if you want to. Hello, it's lovely to see you all. Um, so I'm in a really interesting space, um, I would say. Um, I've noticed that the, the weather, especially the mornings, but most of the day, um, the last three or four days here have been really mysterious and otherworldly. And then I clicked with that last night when I was doing a meditation that um, I'm feeling in this really interesting space of wanting to explore these deeper, greater mysteries that, or remember ancient memories or there's, Oh, it's a bit hard to describe sometimes in words, isn't it? But I just feel um, so inspired to explore the mysteries and what the mysteries mean to me. Or, you know, mysteries, I mean, it's mysterious, <laughs> just the word itself. Um, I just feel that there's something more, something to explore. And last night in the meditation, I was feel very connected with the turtle, which is why... I just had to paint turtle yesterday. I just felt like I wanted to connect with the beautiful energy of the turtle. And I did a meditation last night and traveled with the turtle down under water to Atlantis. And there I found my temple because if you've read the if you've read my Atlantis book, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I guess I'll just recap just a little bit so that you know it can kind of get up to speed if you're open to the idea of this. If not, you can just allow me to be open to it if you're not so much. Um, but I was a healing priestess in Atlantis in a past life many thousands of years ago. And at the end of Atlantis, I was the last healing priestess in a line of priestesses, if you like, or healers um, that were 
um, guardians, if you like, of this temple. So when Atlantis fell, I took it on myself to carry the temple energies with me in my bodies and in different incarnations all of that over all of that time till now when I knew that at some point the energies would be called to awaken again and so uh, when I founded Temple of Balance 13 and a half years ago now um, I knew that I was bringing the, my healing temple back um, back into this world so it just remained hidden or kept inside me like a seed or a, an ancient book or a memory all for all those lifetimes since Atlantis fell um, until this particular lifetime. So I feel very honoured and excited to be able, oh, well, one, for the energy of the world to be in a, a um, an open position or... Uh, ready I guess in many ways to receive what the energy of Temple of Balance has to offer. Um, so very honoured that the time has come. <laughs> it also signifies my last lifetime which I'm quite excited about because I know I'll be returning home after this lifetime's over whenever that will be um, and I'm very much at peace with that. Um, so last night I um, as the turtle and with the turtle's guidance and message, I travelled um, through the meditation under the sea and into Atlantis and there I found the temple and there was this feeling in me that there was something further to explore that I hadn't explored yet. When I was writing my Atlantis book, it put many pieces of many little snippets of memories that I had into um, perspective for me and filled in a lot of blanks as well. It was a really um, profound experience to write that book. But I noticed um, I was really drawn to the foundations in this meditation and I was told these two words that I'd have to read them in my journal because they're not words I can remember right now. And I don't really know what they symbolise right now either. But um, they seem to open this sort of... Um, gap I guess under the foundations of this temple and I rolled down inside underneath in this chamber that was full of air so there wasn't any water in there and there I met or reconnected with my two parents from that lifetime and they were ancient ones that were finishing their lifetime or their mission as I was coming into mine and now I'm, fin I'm finishing that cycle now. So they, my parent figures in that lifetime, carry codes and wisdoms that I hadn't connected with before because I was a kind of new soul, if you like, in that um, time period. So I've been receiving all of this information in, in very cryptic <laughs> form, like words that I have no idea what they are, um, and just feelings um, and lots of stuff coming in on my, like unconsciously that I'm, I'm not, uh, um, it hasn't got any form yet, so I can't tell you what it is in words. It's more like a, an energy. Um, so I'm in a really interesting space right now of reconnecting, remembering, and um, exploring, I would say, um, the mysteries that I feel. So I wanted to um, come here and create a space of healing and basically just see what happens is the feeling here. Um, the, entries, the energy is interesting. I don't know how you've been feeling, um, but I do trust that something shared will be helpful and that the space that's been created um, will be in some way helpful to you and what you need in these moments. So what I'm going to do is start by pulling a healing energy card. So I'm going to... Look for the best card by shuffling and holding the intention to find the best card for now. What, what we need to know in regards to this space that's been created for healing, for remembering, for connection, for whatever it is that we might need individually right now. I'm also connecting really strongly with our, the power of our voice. Um, all of us 
uh, as I connect with the power of each person's voice that I hear, whether it's in a video I'm listening to or down the shop when I'm posting parcels or in the supermarket or when I'm talking to people I know, um, I'm really feeling such a strong connection to this unique um, fingerprint. Uh, it's as unique as our fingerprint, isn't it? Our voice. And as I celebrate other people's voices that I'm hearing, it's helping me celebrate my own voice too. So there's something so powerful about our voice, our uniqueness, that's really intriguing me right now too. So I feel quite inspired uh, and quite intrigued by a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm just giving you a bit of a backstory, I guess, into how I'm feeling right now. And um, that may carry through a little bit. So I guess just in case it does, then you kind of know where I'm coming from. <laughs> Maybe. So let's grab a healing energy card for this space that's been created now, whether it's healing you need or whatever you need at this time. We'll go with this here. Okay, we've got card six called self-searching. So let's read this, these words down here and we'll talk more about it. It says, do your best not to look too far outside yourself for answers. Bring your focus within. Stand in your power. It is safe for you to express your truth, which I love because I was just talking about the voice and we could really add a different word in there and say, it is safe for you to express and use your voice. Throat and sacral chakras. The throat connected with the voice, with our truth. The sacral chakra below our navel connects with our emotions. So how we feel, our creativity, our sexuality also connects there. But the big message in this card when it comes up is about um, not looking outside of ourselves or giving our power away. And I've talked about this a bit in the last couple of videos. Um, is to be careful we're not giving our power away and seeking or searching for something that's outside of us, that everything we're looking for can be found inside, whether it's answers, solution, clarity, they can be found inside. If it's information, if it's healing, if it's like me on a bit of a, I'm on a bit of a quest, I guess, a bit of an exploration mode, um, curious, intrigued by things, inspired right now, but I'm very much aware that what I see, like what I see in the sunrise and what I'm seeing out, I'm looking at the view, I'm kind of teasing you, aren't I? Um, what I see out when I look out into the water in the bay here is just this other world. So what I'm seeing, oh yeah, that'd be nice. It looks very mysterious. There's not a breath of wind. It's kind of misty. And it, the clouds are really interesting. So, oh, yeah, that's pretty, I could say, if I was seeing that outside of me. But what I've been noticing is that what I'm actually seeing in nature and what I'm seeing in other people's beautiful voices are all things that I am doing my best to turn inward and look at, OK, what are the mysteries that this landscape wants to show me? What can I how can I connect deeper with and celebrate my own voice in what I'm seeing and hearing in other people's voices. So let's um, turn everything that we're noticing back to ourselves right now. And in fact, it's a great way to live anyway, because everything is just reflecting us in some way. What we're irritated by was is probably triggering some hurt or some wound we have inside or some insecurity that's trying to get our attention. So it's no accident that we're irritated or affected by something. It's a bit like what I said um, briefly in a video a couple of days ago that um, I've never really understood how people could be so affected by other people's stuff. Now, let me just explain that. A lot of empaths, and I'm very much an empath, a lot of empaths spend a lot of their time clearing other people's stuff from their energy space. Or I've seen memes that say, for an empath, 5% is their stuff and 95% is other people's garbage that they're carrying. Well, unless we allow ourselves to, unless we give ourselves the permission to say 
that we are going to carry other people's burdens, we shouldn't be that affected by other people's stuff. It's it's not like unless we believe that we are, it's not like we go into a shopping center and just suddenly attract everything and then we walk out and we've got like 10 personalities attached to us. Um, I feel if that's the space that we're in or if that's the space you're in, you may definitely need to work on your protection and look at what you're allowing in and what you're not allowing in. I feel we have to have really strong boundaries. But anything that affects me, that other people say or that other people are going through, anything that I have a reaction to is my stuff. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a reaction to it. So just because someone else is in a bad mood, if that really negatively affects me um, in a way that I just can't shake off, then there's something in that for me. So I, I feel we have to be really careful that we're not just saying, oh, that's someone else's stuff. Um, and I'm an empath, so, you know, I take other people's stuff on board. No, we don't have to do that. So be careful that you don't believe you are for one, which is then welcoming all that energy in. Um, see if you can look at your protection and strengthening your boundaries and look at what you will and won't accept in your space. Um, and then look at, OK, if this continues, what is this? What's what's what am I responsible for in this reaction that I feel? We are not victims being an empath. It is not a curse. It is not a bad thing. It is actually a beautiful thing to have more people stepping up into um, the power of feeling and caring for other people. Empaths and people that are empathic are beautiful people. So let's stop being victim and stop passing responsibility of how we feel onto others and say that's their stuff. Let's deal with our stuff, let it go and look at what we can learn from what what we're affected by. So like for me, I have really, really strong boundaries that I've had to um, enforce over the years because, um, because of what I've learned as an empath, because I do get affected by, because I get affected for an example is the news and politics, religion, I can't stand any of that stuff. It just I just don't like it. It doesn't feel right for me. So I choose not to have a television. I choose not to invest any time in the news. Um, I don't know if I can believe mainstream media, so I'm not going to invest any energy in that sort of stuff either because I don't know if it's true. Um, I've got more important things to think about in my life as far as I'm concerned. Some people may say that's ignorant and maybe I am ignorant in some ways, but that's the way I keep my boundaries up so that I can live um, and experience this life as best as I can, if that makes sense. So I've had my little say. I'm going to now play this uh, turtle drum. This drum has already found its keeper. Now, people have asked me, what is this? This is an ancient script, ancient knowledge, ancient language. I have no idea. I feel like um, <laughs> I was about to say I have no idea what it means, but I'm actually feeling I'm going to replace those words because I feel this will be a personal message for the owner of this drum and anyone who connects with it. So right now we're connecting with it. You may find that this um, speaks something to you. It might remind you of something or help you remember a bit more of who you are. The turtle, a great symbol of connecting with the greater mysteries in life, reminding us to accept our body, this vehicle that houses our spirit in this particular lifetime. Even though we may want to leave our body, the turtle reminds us that we have to stay attached to it in, in many ways. Attached probably isn't the best word to use, but stay connected to it as best as we can. The turtle feels focused in this painting like he's on a mission. He's on a journey somewhere. So where is Turtle going to take you on your journey today? Now, usually I drum very aware that it's going to rattle because I have people complain because it's very rattly. I'm not, I don't give a fig today. <laughs> I'm just going to drum my heart out. It, may, it will most likely rattle in the microphone. If it gets too much, just turn it off. Um, I, I, I just want to let loose. I don't want to restrict or restrain myself. So um, it's going to rattle. It's just what's going to happen. But I am going to do my best to minimize that by 
attaching my microphone. If I can unpin it. I'm going to attach my microphone and move it away. So I'll just tell you what a few things now before I start. So I'm going to drum and hold this space. And you can use this time now to do whatever you want. At the very least, at the very least, just listen and just let the drum carry you somewhere. Try not to think too much that um, you want some profound thing to happen because it never happens when we think that. <laughs> just listen and, and just let the rhythm of the drum carry you somewhere that's right for you in those moments. If you want to um, take it deeper, then listen to the drum, meditate, um, uh, listen and allow the drum to carry you deeper into yourself, deeper into these moments, deeper into your connection with Turtle, perhaps, and see where you go and what inspires you. Try not to have any expectations that only blocks the flow of energy. Just sit back, be in the moment, listen and let yourself be surprised. So I am going to put my microphone elsewhere and drum my heart out for five or ten minutes. Let me just do a time check. Okay, five or ten minutes and then I'll be back. So enjoy. Get yourself comfy. The drum is ready, if you can hear me.
Thank you. I trust you enjoyed that bit of drumming. It's beautiful. I love the power of that drum and turtle right now. It's definitely my favourite animal this moment. So, how are you doing? Did you enjoy that bit of connection? Did you receive anything helpful or perhaps some things to think about? You may want to write in your journal if you want to. So thank you. If you just joined in, this was the card that I was drumming to called Self Searching. Look within. Let's grab a healing energy card to go and I'll also pull an Animal Kingdom Oracle card to finish with too in just a moment. Oops, my head's been cut off now. So thank you. Whew, such beautiful energy around. Whoops. <laughs> if the cards drop, I don't worry about it. I just put them back in the deck and um, get some more or get another one or reshuffle <laughs> or do something. But I don't read from those cards. Some people do. And if they do, it's right for them. Okay, I'm looking for the best card for our forward movement from here. So what do we need to know next, especially as we transition back into our everyday life and as we process or integrate the information or the stuff that we've been thinking about or may have received um, during our time together today. So the best way or what we need to know for what's next is here. Manifest card 54. It says bringing ideas and projects into reality. <laughs> the manifestation process, birthing the new in physical form, the gift of life. Isn't it such a gift? It certainly is a gift, um, the gift of life. Transformation, healing, action, abundance and happiness and creation. So this talks about bringing things into form. It could be ideas, inspirations plans, goals, projects into form so we can actually um, touch them and use them or, or manifest them into this physical world. So there is a process to that. It's um, a journey. It is a, it is a process. So we might want to think about in relation to what I've been talking about um, and the purpose of pulling this card, which is for what's next. Um, how could we relate that to what we want to do next? Perhaps um, focusing on how to manifest or bring into your life what has stood out for you in this sharing. Um, so if you've been given some food for thought, then think about it and come to your own conclusion on what truth is for you. Like I have strong views on what I was talking about with an empath, uh, for example, just before I was drumming. Um, so I have strong views on that. They may clash with yours, but if it's given you food for thought, I suggest that you sit on the ideas and the thoughts for a couple of days and match them up or see how they match with your truth and then ad adjust them, adapt them to suit you and your needs and what you have come to experience and what you know to be true. I don't share things saying that this is the truth and you should think the same way I do. I share my thoughts, which are a bit outside the box in some cases. I share my thoughts to encourage you to think further about your own beliefs and your own ways and to make some adjustments um, if required. If, if you think about what I say and it just doesn't resonate after some thought, and you want to keep thinking in the same way you do about something specific, then that's fantastic. I don't want you to think the same way I do. I just want to help you um, question what you're thinking and how you're living and make sure it's, it is in alignment with what's best for you right now. So think about if you want to take on board it, it if it resonates with you, but don't if it doesn't. Um, I would never want you to think the same way I think. I want you to think the way you, you need to think and you want to think. So manifest, I feel this is just about really processing and perhaps contemplating on, on things that have stood out for you and how you can bring things into your life that may be important for you to implement. So manifest, form, and I also love that line, the gift of life, definitely a gift. This precious moment is absolutely precious and beautiful let's grab an animal card before i go um, and i'm going to pull this animal card based on what we need to know now 
So what we need to know right now, let's see what it is. These are my new cards in creation. In fact, I've just pretty much finished. I'm just sourcing out a printer as we speak. So our card for now is this, the cheetah. This card hasn't hardly come up the few times I've used these. It says, focus on your strengths. Sometimes we spent, spend way too much time focusing on our weaknesses or the things that we may see as um, weak or negative or low or bad about ourselves. So the cheetahs step forward to remind us to really think about how we can focus on our strengths and what our strengths are. What are our strengths of personality? What are the things that we're good at? And how can we focus on enhancing and improving and working with these great strengths? Now, often we can work with our strengths to help us strengthen our weaknesses as well. So if you've been noticing what you're not so good at lately, perhaps think of it from a different angle. Okay, what am I good at and how can I bring those, those good qualities into this weakness that I'm dealing with right now? Like, for example, if, you've got a, if one of your strengths is listening or your empathic heart, let's say you're very caring and you're really good at listening and you're in a situation that's just calling on parts of you that you're just not comfortable with. Well, you might be able to step back from that thing and look at it from your strengths perspective. Okay, how can you bring your empathy and your caring nature into this and your listening skills? Can you learn through listening or observing what others have learned in this, these sorts of situations? So there's ways I feel that this card is saying that you can use your strengths to strengthen your weaknesses and... Um, also, maybe think about what you're good at rather than thinking about what you're not so good at. Um, so there are things that come easy to us and there are things that don't come so easy to us just naturally. So um, maybe that's something worth thinking about. The cheetah is so cute, isn't he? So that's card four, cheetah, our message for now. I trust it makes sense and I do trust you've enjoyed our time together today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. If you enjoy my work and my quirky, weird ways, uh, you might find something helpful and supportive for you on your journey on my website. Um, I do have like um, a supportive family. We have a different artwork, drum cards, books, meditations, artwork, pendants, ceramics. There's so many things that I do. I dedicate full time to the work that I do at Temple of Balance. So have a look on my website if you're inspired to and um, if you're inspired to support my work. If you get something out of it, just um, purchasing a meditation or something really helps me be able to keep Temple of Balance going so I can keep doing it full time. So thanks for your support. Um, I feel that's all I need to say. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will be back to connect with you again real soon. So sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Thank you and namaste. Namaste means that the divine, the creator within me honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator within you, that we are equal, we are one. So thank you and namaste.